Good morning and welcome to Rovalli's Daily Podcast. How's everybody doing today? I am waiting for the go ahead. Let's see. Yes, it says I'm streaming. It's a little bit flaky, a little bit slow today. Cheers with me, won't you? Oh, man. Steamed up my glasses, just like when I have my mask on. <laughs> glasses fog all up. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? It is a fantastic Wednesday. Uh, I am looking outside. It looks like it's going to be another beautiful, clear day. Cold, but clear. And... Um, what a day it has been. So I've been reading a lot on Facebook and different uh, social media platforms about uh, people being thankful. And uh, as we come across, uh, come upon Thanksgiving, um, you know, it is, it, I mean, we should be thankful every day, right? <laughs> Some of us don't feel so thankful, but hey, you know, um, we should be thankful for something, even if it's a little thing, right? <laughs> Um, but, you know, Thanksgiving is a, a, a holiday that um, we would focus on being thankful, even though, yeah, you know, there's probably something to be thankful for every single day of our life. Uh, but uh, this day we recognize as a day of thanks, of giving thanks. And so um, since I won't be doing a podcast tomorrow because it is Thanksgiving, I'll be spending time uh, with my family and uh, preparing a beautiful, delicious meal. Actually, I'll probably be watching most of the time. Uh, let's be honest. <laughs> anyway, I better take a drink because Kim is watching this. <laughs> but um, today, you know, I, I just, uh, I don't know, there, there's little things and there's really big things that I'm thankful for. And if you don't mind, I'd like to share a couple with you. And one of them, uh, I'm going to start off with the little things because um, sometimes it takes stress off you. So check this out. The other day I was working on my uh, desktop and just doing some marketing stuff. And uh, I had a Bluetooth speaker going. My mouse is a wireless mouse and my keyboard is a wireless keyboard. And I'm working along and all of a sudden my keyboard stopped working. So I'm hitting the buttons and nothing's looking. At, it doesn't look like it's uh, uh, working at all. Nothing is coming out on my screen. And I hit the buttons to make sure there's power. Yeah, there's power. Um, I tip it over, check it out, uh, you know, batteries. Okay, they're, they're probably a little dead. It's been a while. So I put in some rechargeable batteries that I know are fresh that I recharged and um, still not working. And it was weird because um, my speaker, my Bluetooth speaker stopped working. So I go into my settings. I know I'm going the long way around the barn, but take, take it from me. It's worth, it's worth the, the trip. So I go into my settings and the Bluetooth icon is completely gone. Uh, so I, I go into the settings on my Windows 10 and look at it and it, uh, it said everything's off, but there's no Bluetooth um, service. So it's like it got corrupted somehow. And so I start uh, going on YouTube. That's my first go to. I go to YouTube, check it out, see what I can find out if there's an easy fix. And, you know, it's probably something really dumb, some mistake that I'm making. But then um, so I'm doing it and I'm looking through all these videos and trying all these various things that, that people are suggesting will work to, to fix Bluetooth and nothing is working. And so I just do a, 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 an overall update of my Windows 10 and thinking, OK, that'll work because it'll fix everything. I did that, rebooted, went back in, nothing, still nothing. And I thought, oh, man, this is going to kill me because when it's not that easy and you can't find a video pretty quick, uh, it's probably a trickier issue. And, <laughs> and so um, I said, you know what, I'm going to leave it alone because I'm getting frustrated and I'll come back to it. And I have my regular keyboard, so I just plug that in so I could still work. But uh, I said, I'll just come back to it after the weekend. I didn't want to work on it on the weekend and, and get frustrated and be in there yelling at my screen. Ah! <laughs> and, uh, and then I went in yesterday, you know, cause I'm like, okay, let me roll up the sleeves. I'm going to tackle this. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Gosh, darn it. I'm going to figure it out no matter what. And I get on and I look and everything's connected like magic. So I'm thankful for that. Cause I thought I was going to have to put in, you know, the, the time I was working on that, I put in about two and a half hours trying to fix that thing, and it was not fixing. And then I come in and I'm rolling up my sleeves thinking, okay, 
Just roll up your sleeves, bite the bullet, bite down on the mouthpiece and go in and figure it out. And I get in and everything is, you could almost hear the angel singing. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm thankful for that because it saved me a lot of grief. Uh, but you know, seriously though, uh, on more serious matters, I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my beautiful wife. I'm thankful for my uh, my two daughters, my two son-in-laws, my two grandsons. I'm thankful for Sanchez and um, uh, Olive and uh, and Hazel. Those are Felicia's dogs. And um, Frida. And I'm trying to remember Andrea. That's Frida's dog. Or that's Andrea's dog, Frida. And I'm trying to remember. They got a new cat and I can't remember the cat. Oh, it's, it's escaping me. Anyway, but I'm thankful for just for everything. And I'm thankful that, uh, you know, during these trying times that we have family that we can that we can talk to, that we can be with, that we can share with. And, and sometimes you get a little nervous and sometimes you get a little scared. And, and I always say this and you've heard me say this before. Family is everything. It really is. And and uh, and I cling to my family and I do my best to keep my family together. And um, and and it shows, you know, I mean, it shows because um, everybody we, we just all feel very, very blessed uh, during this time. And if you don't feel blessed during this time, um, you know, uh, seek out a friend, seek out a family member, seek out somebody you can talk to. You know, it was really interesting because I went to uh, I, I reached out to one of my brothers and I said, let's go to breakfast. And uh, there's this little cool little Mexican place right on Washington Boulevard called Taco Taco. So we went there on Sunday and he said, well, and his name is Marco. And uh, he, he said, well, you, can I invite Rudy, who's our eldest brother? I said, absolutely. Let's, you know, let's all three meet down there and, um, you know, and have breakfast and talk. And so we all met down there and we just had a wonderful, wonderful discussion and um, we got to share a lot. And, and it was really good spending time with, another, with one another because I haven't seen my brother Rudy for a little while. Um, you know, his, his wife um, uh, had an injury and so he's been taking care of her and my dog is need, nego, needing to go outside. One second. Anyway, so it was really good to spend time with those two. And gosh, we sat there for probably two hours, maybe even longer, um, just talking, talking about family, talking about, um, you know, just, just our families in particular. And, um, and it was great just sharing and breaking bread with one another. You probably heard me say that before, you know, there's nothing more intimate than breaking bread with somebody. That's why we feel like Ro Valleys, and I'm not trying to stink at a plug here. I'm just saying, that's why we feel like Ro Valleys is uh, a great place because we want to create that experience. And so all of that stuff's very important. Um, and, you know, uh, so I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for the hard work that, that uh, these guys put in. Uh, I'm thankful for, um, you know, my home. I'm thankful for this, this country. Even though we're going through turmoil right now, I'm still thankful for this country. And, um, you know, I just, uh, I just want you guys to know that because I think it's important to remember and to, and, and to be thankful, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. So uh, with that being said, uh, let me take you into what we're going to be doing and talking about uh, for this coming week. Okay. So, oh, I got notes here because there's, there's so much information and I'll go through it quickly. I know you listened to my story. Thank you for putting up with it. Um, but uh, let me tell you uh, all the features that we're there and all the things that's going on. So, Remember that if you've got the Ogden Restaurant Week um, gift cards, they're only good through November. Uh, so uh, this Saturday is the last day that you can use them at Row Valley since we're closed on Sunday and Monday. So uh, if you have them and you've been thinking, you know what, I want to try Row Valley's or you know what? There's no other place I want to go than Row Valley's and use these gift cards. Come on in before or, or on Saturday, as that's the last day, and bring in your gift cards and come and have a great meal with us. It'd be great to have you guys. And uh, you know, we've gotten a lot of the gift cards already, so we're grateful for people choosing us. And and uh, with all of the other 25 fantastic restaurants, we're just grateful that everybody participated and and that you got a real choice uh, to to uh, 
you know, get these great deals with. And uh, I think it was a success, you know, with the pandemic and everything, we did Ogden Restaurant Week completely different this year, but I think it was still a success. I think it was awesome. So uh, once again, if you have Ogden Restaurant Week gift cards, uh, at least for Robales, because some of the other restaurants are open on Sunday and so forth. Um, but uh, for Robales, uh, Saturday is the last day to use them. So uh, come on in this week. Uh, we're closed on Thanksgiving, just so you know, okay? But uh, you can come in today or you can come in on Friday um, and, uh, and Saturday uh, to use those cards, okay? And um, right now, because of uh, uh, Thanksgiving, uh, we turned off our whole cake orders, but they will they will be back uh, first thing uh, Friday morning. And so if you're thinking about getting a cake and start getting ordering your whole cakes for Christmas, the holiday, um, then uh, they'll be back on. So if you've been looking and are like, what happened to the cakes? Well, we had to turn them off because the missing the, the 20 or the, the Thanksgiving holiday, it throws the whole time frame off of the 48 hours or 72 hour thing. So it kind of throws everything off because we're actually closed that day. So uh, let's see. But tonight is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. So um, if you, tomorrow we know where everybody's going to be, they're going to be home cooking, preparing a beautiful meal for their families uh, and working in the kitchen. And one thing I would suggest for you guys when you're doing that tomorrow, Put on some good music, okay? And one thing that comes to mind right now is the soundtrack from The Big Chill, okay? Because <laughs> it's, it's got some great old-time music, Marvin Gaye. It's got some really, really good stuff. I was just listening to it the other day. And they have great tracks on that. On that. So while you're in the kitchen and you're preparing and you're cooking, throw on some music, throw on the soundtrack to The Big Chill and, and shake it a little bit while you're cooking, you know what I mean? <laughs> Makes it fun. Makes it really fun. Uh, let's see. Where else we? Oh, so so. But before on Wednesday today, we want to cook for you, okay? Because tomorrow you're going to be cooking all day, but today we want to cook for you. So come on in for lunch or dinner today um, before Thanksgiving, and because uh, you know you're going to be busy tomorrow. So let's have some fun today. Come out, relax, have a great Italian dinner and uh, or lunch. And, and dine with us. Let us serve you. Let us cook for you today, okay? All right. And we're still doing curbside. So if you want, if you don't want to dine in, uh, go to rovalis.com, R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com, or call us at 801-394-1070 and place your takeout. And we'll bring it right out to your car and you can take it uh, home for lunch or dinner and, uh, and dine, okay? All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, and this Saturday, they are not having the Christmas parade, unfortunately. Um, hopefully next year, we'll have the Christmas parade. This year, they, uh, but they are lighting Christmas Village and uh, they will be lighting that Saturday night, okay? So you'll wanna come down and, and walk through and just see all the beautiful lights. They've been working really hard down there, setting everything up. Uh, it's gonna be really exciting. And uh, I believe they have a fireworks show. So come on down Saturday night when they are lighting the, the, the Christmas Village and doing the fireworks display, and then stop by uh, Rovales for um, hot chocolate, uh, stop by Rovales for something, something delicious to eat and dessert and uh, top the night off and make it perfect Saturday night, all right? Let's see what else we have. Oh, and don't forget um, all of the Black Friday deals on Historic 25th Street. We did a Zoom cast with a lot of business owners uh, right here on this podcast. And um, it turned out really good. We got a lot of views and uh, hopefully it, uh, it created more traffic for the shops and the restaurants down on Historic 25th Street. But we've got Shop Small Biz Saturday and uh, that's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of uh, excitement and people uh, uh, walking around. It'll be good to see people walking up and down the street and shopping and getting great deals. And I think almost every store uh, has some kind of fantastic offer going on from uh, Black Friday and uh, Shop Small Saturday. So don't forget, come down to the local community shops, the, the you know, single, single owner shops, um, the small business people, and show them some love because when you walk through the door, they're going to show you some love. I promise you that, okay? And come down and dine with us while you're shopping too. Try and hit all the restaurants and come in and dine with us. All right. 
And let's see what else we have. Oh, and for us, uh, our gift card promo starts tomorrow at 4 p.m. Okay, so uh, not tomorrow. Wow, scratch that. I'm gonna reverse. Not tomorrow, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We're closed tomorrow. <laughs> On Friday, Black Friday at 4 p.m., that's when we open. Um, we uh, start selling our gift cards with our special offer, which is 20, buy $25 or more and get a free slice of dessert of your choice. And if you don't want it at that moment, we will give you a dessert card that you can redeem whenever you want, okay? Because some people, they're in a hurry, they're running around, they don't want to carry a dessert with them. No worries, we'll give you a card. But if you do want it, if you say, you know what, I want that cake right now, well, you can have that too. So we'll give it to you either way you either way you prefer, but we'll take care of you. Okay. So remember, twenty-five dollars or more, and you get a free slice of cake of the, the desserts that we have on hand, and um, and it's a great deal. The uh, the gift cards go on sale uh, to uh, Friday, Friday <laughs> at four p.m. All right, you guys. That is all I have. Oh, wait a minute. I got to show you something. Gosh darn it. See, there's so much information. It's kind of hard to, um, you know, to get things going and to actually know what I'm doing here. Sorry about that. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, some food real quick, if I may. And there we go. This will just take a second. I'm going to zoom through these, okay? Zoom. <laughs> No pun intended. All right, so the gift cards, like I said, they go on sale tomorrow. Or, oh my gosh, I am hooked on that. They go on sale Friday. Wait a minute, that's off the rails, baby. So off the rails, I better take another one. They go on sale Black Friday, Black Friday, 4 p.m. Okay, got it. All right, let's see what else we got here. Ooh. We're featuring uh, this week, the Italian chocolate love cake. This is a marbled cake, absolutely spectacular. And you need love right now. You need love right now. Uh, lunches, we have fantastic lunches and the prices are right. There's nothing on our lunch menu that is over $9.99. Oh, look at this beautiful eggnog white Russian. Uh, of course the lasagna, come on. You gotta have lasagna. Now, if you've never tried this before, Try Mama's Meatball with the lasagna and you will flip, my friends. Absolutely flip. Oh, look at this one. There's a new one. The lemon poppy seed cake. A very, very popular cake. Very light flavor and just perfect. Just a beautiful cake. And the butter pecan cake. I'm not sure if I have that, though. I'm not sure if I have that one. Again. No, I don't think I do. So scratch that one. Gourmet hot chocolate, like I mentioned, if you're coming down to the parade, not the parade, the, the lighting of the Christmas Village. Man, I am in a groove, you guys. I, I, a fountain of misinformation. Uh, but if you're coming down for the lighting of the Christmas Village and the and the fireworks display, come on down to Rovellis, get a hot cocoa, hot chocolate, and get some food, get a pizza, whatever. We're going to be open for you and ready for you guys. And the Jack Frost cocktail for my adult friends out there. Orange ricotta cheesecake in there, Sanchez. And my grapefruit mojito. Did I say grapefruit? <laughs> grapefruit. Grapefruit mojito. And that's it. So that's all I have for you guys right now. And thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget, uh, gift cards go on sale Black Friday at 4 p.m. Okay, I finally got it, you guys. After all that, I finally got it. And we'll see you today for lunch or dinner or curbside. We, we got it all for you guys, okay? Don't forget curbside. Go to rovales.com, R-O-V-A-L-I-S.com, or call us at 801-394-1070, and we'll get you taken care of. All right, you guys, if I don't see you, I'm going to be at Rovales tonight, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. I'm going to be at Rovales tonight to see you. So come and see me. Come and say hi. All right. Come and see me tonight. I'll be there. All right, you guys. We'll see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Woo! Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. Yeah!